Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. Today I have this very exciting set to show you. Some of you may remember that when I was hunting through a whole collection we purchased and this was a part of it. I thought it was about time that we got it out and had a more in-depth look at it. This set is the silver proof 40th anniversary of the 50 pence coin with a bunch of older designs being restruck for this set. Inside of this Royal Mint box we have this sleek black case with further Royal Mint branding on it. If we open it up, you can see the 16 coins in this set, making this an ultimate collector's piece that all 50B collectors would want to add to their collection, because there are some special varieties in here. The first coin of the set is Britannia, first minted on the 50 pence for 1969, ready for the UK's switchover to the decimal system in 1971. For a period, both pre-decimal and decimal coins circulated together, which I can only imagine would have made for quite the headache. Britannia, along with the rest of the reverses or tail side of the definitive coinage in the then new decimal system, were designed by Christopher Ironside, who would years later have his own commemorative 50p released. On the obverse, we can see the Ian Rank Broadley, fourth portrait of the Queen, and the date 2009. As with the rest of this set, bar one coin, which we'll look back to later in the video. Britannia has had a long history on our coinage, dating all the way back to the Romans. Britannia symbolises Britain's naval strength and is an iconic symbol in the minds of the UK. The importance of Britannia is a topic we will return to in a future video. Next to Britannia we see a lion, which we've discussed in a previous video explaining why lions are on our coins, and is one of the most popular creatures used in heraldry. Above Britannia you can see the words New Pence, which was minted on all the new decimal coins until 1981. Our next coin is a commemorative 50 pence, first minted in 1973. The coin commemorates the UK's joining of the European Economic Community, a precursor to the modern day European Union. Designed by David Wynne, you can see a ring of hands surrounding the year 1973 and the denomination. The hands holding one another symbolise the friendship and cooperation of the participating members in the EEC. It has been suggested that the hands are that of individual members, but the designer actually designed the hands on his own and that of his family, although omitting his wife hands from the final design, which must have been an interesting conversation to have. European politics is a topic that would create a further three designs up to the present with the most recent Brexit 50p, the counterpoint to this design. With over 89 millions of this coin minted, they would have turned up in your change an awful lot. We come back to Britannia now, but this time the wording states 50 pence. A common misconception with new collectors is that the new pence wording is rare and valuable, which unfortunately is not true, with the scarcest minted year being 1970, with still over 19 million minted for circulation. Another interesting facet of this collection is that the first five coins would have originally have been minted on coins larger than those that circulate now. The current sized 50Ps wouldn't start being used until 1997. Equally, up to 1998, the older coins would have featured the third portrait of the Queen, as designed by Raphael Maclouf. So the first five coins of this set wouldn't have originally have been minted with the fifth portrait, which is on this set creating interesting variants that a completionist collector must have. Although it's worth mentioning that this Britannia did get released along with the fourth portrait on 50p's from 1998 as well. Christopher Ironside's Britannia was based on a sketch of his wife who posed in their kitchen holding aloft a piece of paper. Now that's a story worth boasting about. We move back to commemoratives with this coin, the dual dated Presidency of the Council of Ministers. The design is by Mary Dickens, a designer who also created two more coins which are included in this set as well. It marks the UK's six month presidency of the EU and was released in both 1992 and 93, hence the dual dates. This is an interesting coin because there are only 109,000 minted for circulation, which is lower than that of the Kew Gardens 50p, although it doesn't hold the same value. Naturally, as this would have been minted onto a larger sized 50p, they are no longer in common circulation. The design features a conference table with the UK's chair at the head as the president at the time. The table is covered in stars, denoting the capital cities of the participating countries, spread out geographically to represent their locations across Europe. 
The stars are linked by lines signifying cooperation, trade and commerce. We move next to John Mills' D-Day Landings 50P to commemorate the 50th anniversary of one of the most pivotal moments of the Second World War. Mills would go on to design another 50P, also in this set, but additionally the Peace Dove and the 1996 UEFA Euro single metal £2 coins as well, and also the DNA double helix by metallic £2 coin. In the design, the sea and skies are filled with planes and troop transports, capturing the vast movement of soldiers on that fateful day in 1944. D-Day remains to this day the largest naval invasion in history. There were 6.7 million of these coins released in circulation back in 1994 and would have been a really eye-catching design to have turned up in your change. Our next coin is John Mill's other 50p design, this time to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the UK joining the EEC. You can see at the bottom of the design the two years, 1973, when the UK joined, and 1998, the year this coin was released, with a mintage of just over 5 million going into circulation. The 12 stars in the design signify the 12 original members of the bloc, and it also commemorates another term of the UK's Presidency of the Union. The 50th anniversary of the NHS is the next event commemorated in this set. Initially founded in 1945 by the newly elected Labour Party's social reforms, collectively known as the welfare state, the National Health Service was the responsibility of the new Minister of Health, Aniram Bevan. The sculptor David Cornell is behind the design, who also designed the 2011 Olympic Judo 50p, along with a number of £5 coins as well. The design features cupped hands with rays of light emanating from them to reflect the dawn of a new and more caring age of society and governance. Originally released in 2005 with a mintage into circulation of just over 5 million. Books and literature is a topic that the Royal Mint has returned to on a number of occasions and where better to keep those books than the public library. The topic of this next coin design. Released in 2000, a new millennium, it's also the 150th anniversary of the Public Libraries Act, which laid the foundations for the network of public libraries which we know today. This is another design by Mary Dickens, who depicted a book with turning pages atop a public library for the design. Between the book and the sign, you can see little circles, meant to represent CDs, bringing the idea of a library up to date. Well up to date for 2000. If it were released today, it would probably be the Spotify logo rather than the CDs. There were just over 11 million of these coins minted to go out into our change. 2003 saw the release of this 50p, and it marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the suffragette movement by Emmeline Pankhurst. This is the final design that we will see in this set by Mary Dickens, and features a suffragette chained to a fence, protesting for women's rights. The campaign for women's rights paused at the outbreak of the First World War, but in the aftermath, having made crucial contributions to the war effort, there was real momentum for women to be given equal rights. There were just over 3 million of these coins released into circulation. This coin was released in 2004 and marks the 50th anniversary of an impressive sporting achievement. In 1954, a 25-year-old Roger Bannister set the record and became the first to run a mile within 4 minutes, managing to do it in 3 minutes. 59 seconds. The record for running a mile currently is 3 minutes and 43 seconds, shaving off 16 seconds from the record set by Roger Bannister. The design is by sculptor James Butler, who also designed a number of £5 coins, £10 coins and an alternative portrait for the Queen for the 2016 Sovereign. His design shows Roger Bannister running with a stopwatch which has stopped just short of the 4 minute mark. Roger Bannister was asked later in life if the 4 minute mile was his proudest achievement, to which he said he felt prouder of his contributions towards academic medicine through research into the responses of the nervous system, as he went on to become a neurologist after retiring from athletics. There was just over 9 million of the Roger Bannister 50Ps released into circulation. We return to the library to retrieve the topic of this coin, commemorating the 250th anniversary of the English Dictionary, the work of Samuel Johnson. The design features his definition of the words 50 and pence. The designer Tom Phillips also went on to design the Benjamin Britten 50p, along with the Golden Jubilee £5 coin, and a high denomination coin marking the 400th anniversary of the death of William Shakespeare. Samuel Johnson is one of the most significant English writers, working practically by himself from 1746 to 1755 compiling his dictionary. 
He died in 1784 and to mark his extraordinary achievement he was buried in Westminster Abbey. This coin is a very common one which you can readily find in your change, with there having been over 17 million produced for our change in 2005. Next up the first of the two Victoria Cross 50ps, starting with the medals. The design by Claire Aldridge, who went on to design the Countdown to the Olympics £5 coin set, features both sides of a medal itself. The Victoria Cross is the highest award in the British military and has only been given out 1,358 times, with only 15 being awarded since the end of the Second World War. The date on the back of the medal, featured on the design to the right, shows the date that the award was established during the reign of Queen Victoria, who had personal input on the design, for at the time the inscription was going to read for the brave, but she felt that all who fought for their country were brave. The inscription was then changed to For Valor instead. Now there are a lot more than 1,358 of these coins out in circulation, with just over 12 million being released in 2006. The second of the Victoria Cross 50Ps is this one, and it's the Heroic Acts. Depicting a soldier carrying another wounded soldier with the silhouette of the Victoria Cross in the background, the designer Clive Duncan has also designed the Trafalgar £5 coin in the previous year in 2005. Only feats of valour, selflessness and steadfast devotion to duty earn this honour, with three people having been awarded it twice. Now rather than having two medals, there is an additional bar that is added to the original award. There were again plenty of this coin made for circulation with just over 10 million. In 2007, to mark the 100th anniversary of the scouting movement, this coin was designed by Kerry Jones, featuring the fleur de lis, the iconic symbol of the group, with the famous motto, Be Prepared Below. The first ever scout camp was in 1907, with 20 boys camping on Brown Sea Island, near Poole, and has become a huge movement, providing activities for almost half a million scouts, with the aid of over 100,000 volunteers. With over 200 different badges to be awarded, covering activities from fishing to astronomy, martial arts to orienteering, there are so many activities which are rewarded. There's also a lot of these coins in general circulation, with 7.7 .7 million of them being out there. Our penultimate coin returns us to a definitive design. Replacing Christopher Ironside's Britannia in 2008, this is one part of the Shield of the Royal Arms. The designs of the one penny through to the 50 pence can be combined to create the whole shield. With the 50p bearing the bottom part of the shield, you can see on the left part of the design a harp, which represents Ireland and to the right you can see the two front ends of the three lines signifying England. The work is the creation of Matthew Dent after an open public competition to find a new design. Dent has gone on to become one of the Royal Mint's permanent designers, producing a number of coins including the WWF 50p, the Charles Dickens and FA Cup £2 coin, the 2020 James Bond and 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War £5 coins, to name a few. Interestingly, the shield design hasn't circulated every year, with 2009, the year of this set, being one of those years where none went into circulation. The final coin of this set is the creme de la creme and holy grail of UK coin hunters, the Kew Gardens 50p. The most valuable circulating coin, and by quite a margin the rarest 50p in circulation. We dedicated a whole video a while back on why this coin is so rare and valuable, if you'd like to know more about that. Designed by Christopher Le Brun, who had previously designed 2007's Britannias, and went on to design the £5 coin commemorating the second birthday of Prince George. This coin commemorates the 250th anniversary of Kew. The wider botanical gardens at Kew is a fascinating place where rare and interesting parts are cultivated and studied. The building on the design features the Great Pagoda, one of the impressive structures of the Botanical Gardens, surrounded by a creeping vine. Now I've been to see the monument twice, but have yet to ascend the 10 stories and enjoy the view from above. But if you've seen the Pagoda or you've been up the Pagoda, do let me know down in the comments. With only 210,000 of these released in 2009, the year that this set was released, it's a truly remarkable coin and one that everyone would love to have their hands on. This coin is also the odd one out in this set, because the obverse is not the same as the rest of the coins. The obverse is the same that was on the circulated design, 
Well, there we go, a really stunning set of coins featuring some unique variants of the coins that we know and love to collect. Now, there have been a number of other sets that I've shown in these collection hunts that I've done in the past, so if you've seen a set that you really liked and want more information on it, then do let me know down in the comments and I can return to that at some point. Also, let me know which is your favourite coin in this set. I think I'm going to have to err towards the Kew Gardens again. There are links down in the description to our related product offers if you'd like to take a closer look at some of them. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as well, it's free to do and means you won't miss any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where you'll see lots of images of our products. We're on TikTok and Twitter. We have our shop and online store you can check out. But I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.